Hey, and well met friends! Zandang here for another episode of Western Gondor. When we last left off, we were told to do a bunch of things, including collect a bunch of crates. And, well, we have done just that, so now we will return to Helarn, or Helan, or whatever his name is, in this market and learn of what is to be done next. Also, we picked up an awesome cape. Why do you interrupt me? You found them? I'm surprised. Maybe you'll be of some help around here after all. Yes, maybe I will, merchant. Remember that. I'm good at doing things. Alright, let us go and climb the foothills to the beacon of Nandath. And that sounds pretty epic, so let's go do that. And there is the beacon right in front of us, and these things are huge. Discovered Nandalith. A uh, Nindath, rather. Oh, hello. Corsairs are occupying the beacon, monitoring Tadrent for activity. Tadrent for activity. Hmm. Well, clearly they did not notice me coming. Foolish Corsairs. Don't even know how to properly monitor a beacon, right? Alright. Let's see what do we have here. Collecting orders from the fallen Corsairs may give more insight as to what the Corsair captain of Makam Mijan is planning. The first Corsair order reads as followed. You are ordered to ambush passing carts for supplies. Bring the supplies to the river for shipment downstream. Do not, I repeat, do not enter Tadrant. A confrontation would cost us more time than we can afford. We will put Tadrant to the sword once this business is done. Captain Tabadam. Alright, well that does answer our questions. Sile or of about what the enemy might be doing. At least we know that, for now, the town is safe. But whatever they're doing downriver is probably pretty bad. So we'd better find out what that is. Hello, Corsair. <laughs> Your time is nigh. <laughs> there he goes, and there he goes. There's quite a few Corsairs up here. Not for long. Allies leveled up. By the way, I just got all new allies. I reforged some stuff. Um, my personal allies are still the same. But, uh, oh wow, the completing quest actually gives you zeal this time. That is something that has not happened hardly ever. It does look like there are... 35 quests here, which is a few more than the previous ones. Um, look at Mijin Mijin for signs of trouble. I'm guessing that's going to be up here. So let's see here. Um, look at a Corsair. Oh, there we go. You peer into the distance. Let's try it down here. Here we go. There we go. The camp is oddly quiet. However, you see Corsairs near the camp, moving crates. The most evil thing of all. Crate movers. That guy's gonna come over. Yep. Here he comes. Oh well. I try. Alright, nearly have you down, Corsair. Yes, flee like a fool. Surprised I haven't got any more orders yet. There we go. Alright, search for the missing workers. Let's see where this is on the map. Okay, it's up this way a bit. There are some missing workers, apparently. And, um... Very interesting that the town seems quiet. I'm uh, very concerned about what that might entail. Um, it looks like it's up this hill. But I don't know exactly how to get up there. But I'm guessing it's this direction. Yep, so we're going to go around and come back up. Alright. Looks like the Corsairs got to the workers first. Oh no! That is terrible. Oh man. That is terrible. 
Things are definitely getting more dire. And comical at the same time, because you need that. It's like they combined everything that went well in all the parts of Rohan, from Wildermore to like Helm's Deep to like all this other stuff, put it in one zone and called it Western Gondor. I am absolutely loving this. This is awesome. Great, great story. Obviously terrible. <laughs> Things are happening. But a uh, great, great story. Right, it's indeed one of the workers. Oh, man. To collect wood. Because, you know, why not? Oh, man. I only inspected one of them, though, so it might just be one that's the worker, for all we know. Okay, time to run from the saber tooth. Alright, let us uh, return to uh, Tadrin, it looks like, and uh, get all these goods and various other things back into the town. And man, that's an awesome view of uh, the town below us. But let's go and uh, get those things back and uh, get some new quests. Alright, quest givers. Let's hear what you have to I say. I beg your pardon. Dead, the Corsairs are ruining everything. This will be the end of my business. Helem calms down a little. Well, you're here. You could finish the job you started and make me a couple of new crates. All right, buddy. These corsairs are ruining quite a bit, I must admit, but doesn't mean that I need to do everything for you. There we go. Why do you interrupt me? A decent workmanship for an adventure. Now, shouldn't you be out there taking care of those other Corsairs? Right. Stupid merchant. Doesn't even know his... Okay, lady. How may I help you, friend? Wonderful work, Andang. These Corsair orders look to have all the information we need. Brutus ruffles through the Brutus ruffles through the orders, reading them intently. If I am to understand this correctly, they are stealing supplies and rerouting them to Adheliand. Why? That is an abandoned elf port, not dissimilar to the Grey Havens. Many a traveller have spoken fondly of. There is much to do. We must act swiftly. Yes, I agree. We must act very swiftly. These are supposedly better, but those are agility. There's some might. Okay. Let's go ahead and equip that. These are troublesome times indeed. Corsairs of the Beacon! The situation is worse than I thought. They must know of our every movement. And what's that you say? Corsairs are sending crates downstream. I wonder why they or where they are sending them. It can be... it cannot be for any good purpose, that is certain. Yes, that, that is certain. Wait, for some reason they're putting agility on the bottom now, and that's really throwing me off. Okay, well this is definitely better, though it's hard to tell, honestly. How may I help you, friend? Thank you again for your assistance in gather gathering vital information about the Corsair threat, Handang. If Rosarin were here... He would surely thank you as well. It seems the Corsairs are stealing our supplies, then shipping them downstream, in the same direction that we have been sending carts to Dol Amroth. We can't allow those goods to fall into Corsairs' hands at Adhiliand. They must be stopped. All right. There's another quest over here at the Merchant. Two quests, to be precise. Why do you interrupt me? If you are going out there to clear the roads, then I had better start filling some orders. We have carts out on the business soon enough. And dang, there's a special mushroom only found in the northeastern part of the marsh of Tadrant. Since you're heading that way, why don't you collect a few more for me? Yes, of course. I beg your pardon. We need the roads open and safe for travel. My livelihood depends upon it. And dang, you should go out there and run the Corsairs off the road, sending them cowering back to their captain. Ha! At the very least, teach them a good lesson for talking 
for taking a fellow merchant and friend to an early grave. Hmm. All right. Well, we have a lot to work to do and not a lot of time to do it. So let us go out there and kick some coarse sand. Make me collect mushrooms. This is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> oh, I hate merchants. But yet they, they do definitely provide comic relief for Lotro, which they actually have quite a lot of, and they actually have a lot of uh, dark dark themes in this story as well. So um, I'm definitely enjoying the story in this zone. But um, let's collect all these mushrooms. Luckily they're kind of tight together. It does look like these turtles are falling over. Um, oh, that one died. That would be why they're falling over. But they do have uh, quest rings above their heads, so we might look into that in a minute if we find ones that are alive. There are a lot of mushrooms here. At least they're very prevalent. That's a plus. Normally they have like exactly ten, and I hate it when they do that because it just takes forever to find them, like the crates that we had to pick up. But I guess some people probably like that, maybe. So who knows? All right, come on. Let me get open tapping. Yes, there we go. All right, now that we at least know the quest. Turtles in the mart. Turtles in the marshlands near Tadrant have grown aggressive in the wake of the Corsair invasion. Their sharpened beaks are known to penetrate even armor of fine make. So efforts to rout Corsairs by force might be hindered by the marsh turtles. Of course, the marsh turtles could be the ones that turn on the Corsairs, if you train them properly. But, anyway, the people of Tadrant would be well served by a coal of these turtles, whose numbers would certainly recover in time. Okay. Great. Defeated Marsh Turtles. One out of ten. Okay, we've almost got all the mushrooms. All the crazy people mushrooms. Uh, okay, there we go. Um, look around for any more mushrooms. There's plenty of them. Collect the big orange mushroom. Okay. Your eye catches a big orange mushroom in the marsh. A limb might be enjoy selling them. Hey, someone's out here in the marsh. Get him. There we go. Fought two Corsair Raiders. And of course, they don't count for the Corsair quest. Alright, let's remove that as Coast Guide Focus and defeat some more marsh turtles. Alright, here's the final turtle. Shall defeat you, foolish, foolish turtle. These are level 100 turtles, they're actually kind of difficult. Or at least they have a ton of health, it seems. Alright. While their sharp beaks could have also posed a threat to the nearby Corsairs, you have done the people of Tadrant a great service by calling their turtles, the turtles in the marshlands even though the people of Tadrant have a wall to protect them. Future efforts by routing the Corsairs will no longer be threatened by the marsh wildlife. Yes, that's great. Alright, let's find these other Corsairs and defeat them. And moreover, let's find this Overseer, shall we? Alright, there ahead of us is the Overseer. We shall take him out. He's not too healthed. Shouldn't be too hard. What we really should do is interrogate the Overseer. We wanted to find out what's actually going on here. Alright, just a few more crates to reclaim here. Somehow we've only defeated 7 out of 8 Corsairs. So that's a thing. Um, let's set uh, that as the quest guide focus and find another final Corsair. That's not a Corsair. Okay, well, we will find this Corsair if it's the last thing we do. There you are, Corsair. <laughs> mm, I knew you'd be here. Waiting for your own demise. Mainly death. There we go. You have defeated many of the Corsair footmen in Belfalus, and have helped make the roads a safe place for the people of Tadrant. You should pat yourself on the back and make your way back to the city for more questing. All right, let's talk once more with this stupid merchant.
I beg your pardon? What took you so long? Did your boots get stuck in the mud? And why is there a big orange mushroom in here? You know that is a poisonous one, did you not? <laughs> uh, maybe I'm trying to poison you, buddy. These are troublesome times indeed. Your deeds have given us the upper hand and returned some of the missing supplies. However, the Corsair camp surely suspects that we are the source of this aggression. We need to act fast, or our village will be to the first to fall. We are counting on you, Andang. How may I help you, friend? Razam once told me that to cut off the vein that to cut the vein trying tying the head to the chest is to bleed the enemy dry. That's dark. <laughs> I believe that Captain Tadadam of Makam Mijan is the vein, and you, Andeng, are the blade. As much as we need to investigate at Heliand, first you should enter Makam Majan, find the captain in the camp, and defeat him. Tabadam is surely one of the Corsair captains your friend Jajax spoke of, spoke ill of. Be careful, Andang. All right, well, we will find and confront this captain and hopefully save the town from certain destruction next episode. But till then, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again real soon for another part of Western Gondor. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like button below. And if you'd like to see more of my daily content, feel free to subscribe, and you'll be notified when that new content comes out. And also, if you'd like to help support my channel and help me continue to create high-quality videos, feel free to support me on Patreon, and you can get all sorts of great rewards in the process. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again real soon for another video.